Hello, welcome to the Daily Purposeful Movement Challenge. Today we have 10 cat cows, 10 second squat holds. No, we have five 10 second squat holds, there you go. 10 push ups, 10 single leg squats with a kickback. We have 45 second planks, holds per side, it's a side plank. 45 second plank up downs, fan favorite, and then we have four 30 second bridges. So we're gonna get started with cat cows. It's gonna be on hands and knees, good neutral wrist, where your fingers are making L's, one's gonna be reversed, and your middle fingertips are kind of pointed forward. Your shoulders are directly over your wrists, elbows are slightly bent, your abs are pulled in, and then we're gonna tuck your hips and your chin under, round and flex your spine like you were a cat, and then you're gonna let your belly go, tilt your pelvis, roll your shoulders back, and lift your heart center towards the ceiling. So there's cow. So what this does, you're gonna alternate between cat, and cow. In my yoga classes, I do this with the breath. So you're gonna exhale, breath out into cat, breath in into cow. But this kind of just gets the spine moving in a flexion and extension. You're putting weight, you're putting work, resistance onto the upper body, which is good for muscle and bone health. So we've got 10 of these. Again, I'm not counting, so I'm going to just say I've got one more full cycle, and then we'll move on to squat holds. Okay, so we're going to come up off the ground. Again, these workouts are designed purposefully on the ground, off the ground, because we want to be able to get off the ground as we age. So you got to practice that. You've got to practice. Okay, we have squat, oh, there's some bug there, squat holds. So we're going to look up. You're dropping your bum down. You can use some weights if you want. You can wear your weighted vest. Abs pulled in, back is straight and you're gonna hold this. Now I'm not gonna look at the camera. I'm dropping my bum back, dropping it down, weight equally on both feet, shoulders back, again, having some weight if you want, but as soon as you start to kind of round forward and you round that back like you were in cat, drop the weight, reposition, abs pulled in, we're gonna come up. So we've got 10 second hold. Take as long as a break as you want, and then back. So next time I'm gonna do it on the side so you can see. So really dropping your bum down, Looking up, lead with your nose, lead with your chin, looking up, abs pulled in. Okay, so I'm not looking forward to drop my bum back, right? I'm dropping it down. You don't have to go very low, keeping your back nice and flat. Abs pulled in. So I'm gonna do, what, two more of these, I think. So again, we're just waking up all these muscles, getting the heart rate elevated. one more then we're gonna to go to push-ups back on the ground again these workouts are designed purposefully core engaged and come up okay let's go to the ground so two kinds of push-ups you can do a traditional push-up which is a wider stance that's more chest you can do with your hands closer together in a plank position that's more triceps elbows are tucked I'm gonna do triceps to start on your knees you're gonna lower your chest down now squeeze your elbows into your torso and press up so the movement is this, not this. You don't want to tweak your shoulders. There's no chicken wings going on here. So you're gonna be on your knees and press up. Abs engaged. Progression is you're off your knees. Off your knees to bring yourself down. Knees press up. Come off your knees. Down. And then on your off your knees. Traditional push-ups is a wider stance. Bringing your chest down. You can be on your knees. Same progression, off your knees to come down. Knees to press yourself up. And then being off your knees. So you've got 10 push-ups. And then you know it, we're coming back up. We're gonna do single leg squats with a kickback. So we've been talking about strength series. So working on balance, okay? Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. And you're gonna bend that knee. So here's your single leg squat. And then you take it and you kick back. Hands come down, and your single leg kick back. This is a deadlift, a single leg deadlift. You gotta squat, grab some weights if you want. If you boggle, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna come down. You can, we've got 10 per side, so you can do all 10. You can do five and five and five and five. For the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do all of it. So. Respective resistance from right to, right to left, finding your balance. 
you got a squat and a deadlift. And you find often that at the beginning of it, you're feeling a little bit like you don't have a great range of motion, your balance is quite off. But by the time you get towards the end of the reps, you're feeling like your range of motion is there. It's because motion is lotion for those joints. So just do a couple more. We're gonna go to side planks. Let's do a single light deadlift. There you go, okay, side planks. So we're gonna do 45 seconds per side, bringing your arms across, stack your feet, hips and shoulders, and reach up. So try not to sink through that right hip. Now to add on, you can add the twist. You're gonna work your obliques, breathing. And this is an option. You can just stay and hold. Too hard, come down to that right knee. So your choice, it's your progression, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Respect the differences from left to right. So reaching, adding that twist if you like. Again, too difficult, feel free to come to that left knee. Do not sacrifice the form to push through it. Listen to your body. You don't wanna hurt something. And if you stay consistent, you'll build the strength. It'll come, I promise. So then we're gonna go to fan favorite plank up downs. So you're gonna start in a plank. We're gonna lead with the right arm, right elbow forearm, followed by left. So you're in a bent elbow plank position. Now place your right hand under the shoulder, followed by your left and press up to tall plank. Now left elbow forearm, followed by right. Keep the core engaged. Left hand's gonna come underneath the shoulder and press up. So yes, that's a lot of upper body strength, but you gotta do the work to get it. So, a level one option is we're gonna come down to right elbow forearm, followed by left. Now as you place your right hand on your shoulder, come down to your knee for a moment, and then off. So try to spend as little time on your knees as possible. So 45 second plank, up downs. Don't be in a rush through it because it's time. 45 seconds, 45 seconds, whether you do five of them, whether you do two of them, doesn't matter. And then we got bridge. So we're gonna do some bridges, holding them. You're gonna be on your back, hands at your sides, feet turned up slightly, pull your abs in, you're gonna slowly lift up, squeeze your glutes. So you've got a 30 second hold here. Actively, so you're pressing your hands to the mat, you're pressing your pelvis up. You're really engaging your lower body, chin into your chest, we're not looking to your right or to your left. Now, progression is you're coming up to the bridge and without letting your hips sink, is you're gonna bring your left leg off the mat. So that's a progression. You can kind of draw those toes up to the ceiling. So you're still holding it, you're just doing a little bit of pumping here. And then you do the same thing with the right. Whether you do one complete 30 seconds, or you break it up into 15, it's your choice. But there you go, we've got four of those. There is your everyday purposeful movement challenge. Thank you for participating. We're aging well together. Have a great day.